Houston toad has been in Texas a lot longer than people have. Okay, they are truly native Texans. There's evidence now that the Houston toad genetically may have been here for several million years. And just for that reason, they deserve to survive. My name is Matt Lammers. I am the Houston Toad Recovery Program Coordinator. I've been working with the Houston Toad for three years and I've been at the zoo for six. So I started at the zoo um, specifically to save animals in the wild. Um, I started in the primate department, um, educating the public on various primate plights in the wild. And then after a few years, I uh, wanted to actually put animals back out into the field, so I swapped over to the Houston Toad Recovery Program. It's pretty rare, even within AZA, to find a program putting animals back into their native habitat. I have always liked uh, the critters that are pretty use universally unloved, you know, snakes, toads, lizards, all that kind of good stuff. And I, um, I did an internship the summer before I got this job in the reptile house here at the zoo. And I absolutely loved it. I loved everything about it. And I did a little bit of work in the Houston toads because we get to cross train in the other sections that fall under herpetology. And I absolutely loved it. And our supervisor came to me one day and said, hey, we have an opening. Would you like to interview? And I said, absolutely yes. Hi, my name's Stan Mays. I'm the curator of herpetology, entomology, and I'm in charge of the Houston Toad Recovery Program here at the Houston Zoo. Well, uh, the last Houston toad was found in Houston, in the Houston area, back in 1975. A survey in 1978 of the Houston toads uh, population in Harris County showed that there were no toads. So in 1978, the Houston Zoo, with a $2,100 grant, began looking at ways to raise Houston toads in captivity. And we continued our recovery program until 1988 when the lack of funds caused us to stop. And we did not get back into the Houston Toad recovery program until the year 2007. From 2007 up through 2010, we released almost 14,000 little toads. Then the drought in Bastrop County of 2011 and subsequent fire destroyed much of the Houston Toad habitat. No toads were heard calling in the wild. Um, we kind of stopped for a year, went back to the drawing board, looked to see if we could improve on anything, and that is when we just started releasing eggs. Uh, so instead of keeping, you know, all of the toads and trying to raise them up and release them the following year, that is very expensive and time consuming, and you have to have a lot of space for that. Releasing the eggs, not as time consuming, not as expensive and you can release a whole bunch of eggs. The program itself is a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services program, so we do operate under government funding and government guidelines, all that sort of thing. Here at the Houston Zoo, we do produce the, the bulk of the eggs released. Um, it is very much a joint effort across all facilities, but we carry the lion's share of, of the egg numbers for sure. And the Fort Worth and the Dallas zoos as well um, have rooms just like this where they breed toads. So since the start of this program, we've released over 6 million eggs back into historic Houston toad habitat. This season alone was the best season wild Houston toad populations have had since the 80s, and it's incredibly gratifying to get those reports from our um, field researchers that we are making an impact in seeing this population recovering in the wild to, to some degree. We have gone from uh, hearing those four measly toads in 2015 to hearing choruses of well over a hundred toads on a single night at our release sites. We covered everything in concrete. We came into where they lived and we said, I want to live here. 
here's a nice concrete slab. And these guys are habitat specialists. They can't live just anywhere. Um, so we really owe it to them to kind of give them a fighting chance. Um, so there's a lot of work that still needs to be done on the forestry management side and uh, urban development side, all that sort of thing. But, you know, as, as fragile as the program is, um, what kind of people would we be if we didn't try? Well, I think I've probably been involved with Houston Toads more than almost anybody else now. I know some people say, well, your program's successful, and we like to say, no, it's not successful. The issues bothering the Houston Toad are still out there. What we have done, and I'm proud of it, is that we have prevented the Houston Toad from going extinct. We haven't saved it, but we've prevented it. Um, and so that's been real gratifying. It's also been real gratifying to uh, see the commitment of the Houston Toad Recovery Team and uh, how dedicated they are to preserving the Houston Toad. And also, it's been real gratifying to see the way that the Houston Zoo is taking its commitment to saving animals in the wild and not just applying it to a large, highly visible, uh, highly photogenic animals like, you know, lions and tigers, bears, elephants, but using that same principle to save a small, what people think are insignificant, but we disagree, toad. Thank you.